Hello there. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm, my name is Joe, and uh, I'm the host of a show that's not a tech show. I actually go through a lot of, I would say, regular household repairs, assembling furniture, and repairs on your vehicle that uh, you could do yourself and not have to go to a dealership. And really what I try to do is simplify each of the projects that I do. And I found that a lot, everything that I do on a daily basis is something that maybe you guys would might find helpful in, you know, not relying on a handyman or, or someone else to do the work for you. And really to kind of help you through that process, I wanted to show you some of the tools that I use every day to really and it really, it's not a big set of tools. It's actually just a few things that, that I, if you only have these things, you can do a lot of repairs. You can assemble any amount of furniture that you, you would basically buy from Ikea or, or any other place that um, makes you assemble your own, your own stuff. Uh, biggest one is you gotta get an electric drill. Um, these things are going to speed up a lot of tasks for you whether it's you're screwing things like a TV into a wall, or if you are uh, trying to drill holes in, in areas, this is something that you're really going to have to, uh, to to leverage. And this is probably one of the most expensive items in a basic tool set that you'll want to invest in. Um, I personally like Ryobi. A lot of my power tools are uh, from that brand. Uh, the next thing that I have is actually a little bit unique. You won't see it very often, but since I come from the automotive field, I I brought a, over a lot of tools that I used in that industry uh, home with me so I could essentially just use it around the house. I'm not a mechanic anymore, so I'm able to have all the tools that I, that I used uh, to otherwise fix vehicles. Now I can use it to do things around the house. And this is one, a big one here. I'll show you, let it focus on there a little bit. This is actually a ratchet and a bit set. So what this is, and I'll, and I'll show you here, it's actually a very tiny little ratcheting, uh, ratcheting tool. But what it does is instead of using a screwdriver, you can select each little bit and actually make speeds up the process to, and also stabilizes it too when you're, putting together a piece of furniture, putting a uh, screw in. And since it has this little handle, it actually gives you a lot more leverage and you can loosen things far more easily than you would otherwise use a screwdriver with. Or also, um, if you have a specialized bit, um, it does. these do come with a lot of different options as well as uh, uh, also a piece that you can then attach little quarter inch sockets too as well. And of course, all of these things, I'll, I'd, I've had them for a really long time, but uh, if I can find them online, I will put them in the link in the description below so you can uh, go out and find those those items and, and be able to have them for your own toolkit. But if you buy anything, buy one of these sets. It is crazy helpful for any project that you're doing. Now, these are the basic ones, but you want a tape measure you want a screwdriver. It's just, it, 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 you, it should go without saying, but you need those things for, for any pro, small project. But uh, one thing that I do like about the screwdriver that I use, now this one is actually made by Snap-on, but um, so it is a little bit more on the expensive side, but this one actually ratchets as you turn, so you don't ever have to let go of the screwdriver. And that's really helpful when you're up on the ceiling trying to take out a light. You don't have to sit there and get the screw to fall out or something bad to happen. So, but this is also a magnetic tip as well, which works really good for putting in uh, screws and, and whatnot, or whatever you're doing. So definitely a good piece to have. It doesn't have to be snap on, but it uh, certainly helps. They're, they're really a high quality tool. But those are the basic things that I really utilize. I mean, you're gonna have screwdrivers, you're gonna need them. Um, also, I would say a socket set uh, for uh, for bolts that you might have. So 
just stand houses usually need just a standard set of sockets you know half inch 10 millimeter those sorts of things that you can uh, just buy in a little kit I, I won't show you my set because it's in the garage and it's all laid out in my in my toolbox there last thing I want to show you is a little interesting tool set but that I actually purchased for uh, repairing cell phones and uh, if you've been on my channel um, longer than I would say six months I, a lot of my really early videos were taking apart cell phones and um, also dropping them off a ledge that was pretty interesting but <laughs> didn't get a lot of views but this is kind of a new channel so um, and I wanted to show you the toolkit that I actually use for that so I actually bought this off of Amazon it comes in a little tote here and this I will put a link to in the description so you can locate it but this is everything you're gonna need to repair cell phones and also any sort of micro uh, micro hardware like small screws or or things like uh, any sort of electronic you'll be able to to, to utilize this this kit with but what this does is so for one part of it it comes with this bit set kind of similar to the the ratchet set that we saw before and this is more of a screwdriver setup so like the little little uh, little tiny bits that you can use for all the different sizes of screws and in addition in some of these sleeves here you have uh, little plastic picks as well as some metal uh, edging tools also a razor blade and uh, some plastic things that see right here uh, it's good to have plastic because uh, if you're working with small electronics that means that uh, you could essentially short out uh, a circuit board or something like that. So you want to use plastic picks as much as you can to prevent any further damage. And lastly, especially when you're working with small electronics pieces, it also comes with these uh, different sizes of tweezers. You'll probably see it a lot on repair videos from, from other channels, but these are very useful to pick up the small parts and also to remove some of the little electrical connectors in, in the cell phone. So if you want to repair your own cell phone, it's kind of a more advanced uh, task, but you can replace things like your cell phone screen or or if you have like a, a broken, uh, or if you want to replace the battery, I would say, in, in your phone, you don't have to send that out. Um, there's definitely step-by-step -step things all over YouTube that you can uh, that you can do step-by-step -step videos. There's some of them on my channel for, for iPhone specifically. But if I want to get more into that content, I certainly can. But uh, I just wanted to show you a couple tools I use every day. Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm actually approaching 100 subscribers. And I've just been doing this for fun. I really enjoy doing step-by-step -step videos. And it's a small channel. Um, I'm hoping that we can continue to grow it, but I've had a lot of fun putting together these videos and uh, I'm always open to suggestions too on on what to do next and I will read every single comment right now because there's about only about a hundred of you and so I'm able to respond. Please reach out to me. I have uh, uh, an email that I do check uh, every day. It's at notatechshow at gmail.com. And then also I'm on Instagram as not a tech show and I post short videos um, as well as some, some other tech content as well. So really utilize me as a resource uh, for, for any sort of handiwork or assembling any furniture. I'm, I'm always open. Um, I love answering questions. I love helping people. So thank you for watching. And uh, uh, remember, this is not a tech channel. It's uh, not a tech show. So thank you. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, look forward to more content here coming soon. All right. Have a good one.